Hi everyone, Kamran Nuri here on Simple Physics Story. In this video, you will see a series of experiments related to rotational dynamics. Try to guess the results of these experiments and explain why. In the next videos in this playlist, mathematical tools are developed and the results of the experiments are explained. I hope you enjoy this video and get curious about rotational dynamics. And that's enough. That's enough. Okay, now. Whoa. Is it slow? Fast. Slow? That's so weird. Fast. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and then if I rotate, what happened? What? <laughs> and I go back, I stop. I need to uh, move this really fast. So, if I go up, and then... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> so, what happens? You're a wizard. <laughs> You're a wizard. If I if I do this on on this platform, if I try to rotate this, I, <laughs> see? Oh, this, I have this rotating now. If I do this, what happens? I I rotate. Right? If I do this, it stops. If I do this, I go on. And do this, I stop. The other way. What happens here? Okay. So this is now moving very fast. I go this way. Okay, I give it just a little bit of angular momentum upward or downward, I rotate in this direction. I give it the other way. It's really hard to <laughs> make it actually go up. All right, so if you go to Franklin Institute, they have this. Have you seen it? Oh, I just never saw that. Yeah? <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. Which, is it, which one is better, this one or that one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here are two uniform sticks that can rotate without friction about a fixed axis through their ends. One has an extra mass added to its free end. Which one will fall faster? The one that has mass goes slower. And why is that? A lot of I designed this to to be able to. because there's no torque acting on this, this is in equilibrium, right? But uh, I can leave this on, so now it rotates. It, uh, it rotates like that because there's now uh, some uh, angle and some uh, torque, this weight of this drill actually applies the torque. And that changes omega because Torque is equal to rate of change of omega. I can take this off, uh, and you see that now uh, it is in equilibrium. But if I change the weight here, this, this weight is exactly balancing the weight of the wheel itself. If I put two, two more kilograms here.
and starts rotating in that direction. Why does it do that? I have a cylinder and a ball. If I put them here, if this is a solid, heavy cylinder, this is a billiard ball. Let's see. One, two, go. The ball, the ball goes faster, right? All right. What about these two? There's a. This is a glass, and. This is again your What do you think about this? Same. Same. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Alright. And and you see uh, the cylinder is slower. Again, I let me show you the cylinder and the ball. The cylinder is slower than the ball. That noticeable. All right. What about this cylinder and this cylinder? Which one of these do you think? The larger one. Okay. Larger. Okay. Let's see. That's also pretty much the same, isn't it? Uh, what about what about the ring and the cylinder? What do you think about these two? The cylinder. The cylinder is faster by a lot, right? All right. So so far, you see that uh, cylinders roll at the same speed. Balls roll at the same speed. Same acceleration, basically. Let's try again. See here with the two balls. So this this 
rolls like a cylinder, but goes fast. Why? Why is that different? Oh, between this and the car, what do you think? I right, we didn't CDs. check this car. The car. The car's got four cars. That's it. Not much different, right? We have to go Let's try again. Let's try again. So make sure. Kind of the same, right? Okay. So the car was the fastest, right? The cylinder was not so fast, right? See, if I if I do it right there, the car is way faster, right? All right. What if I put the cylinder on the car? Let's go to the front of the car or to the back of the car. Okay, let's try. One, two, go. Stay. Stay the same, right? What about the ball on the cart? Again, the, the cart is way faster than the ball. Right? If I put the ball on the cart, what happens? Just this foot, right? Hmm. What about, uh, what was the slowest thing you had? The ring, right? The ring was the slowest. If I put it on the cart, where does it go? Anywhere or not? It pretty much goes with the car, right? So what do you think that is? I'm going to develop the rotational dynamics and answer all these questions, okay, later on. Mm -hmm. But for that, I need to develop the theory. Of course, there are some math involved. Without math, you can't do much, right? Because math is the language of science. I hope you have some questions in your mind right now. Thanks for watching. Please watch the next videos on this playlist for explanation of these results. Also, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. Thank you.